Over the long run, climate change is going to hurt millions, if not billions, if we cannot cope with it in a serious way. It's an existential threat. And the way we live is at the essence of how we deal with that issue. And the way we live is the product of the environment we build. When we build a city, we build a set of behaviors. We build our own lifestyle, our relationships to nature, our relationships to each other, our relationships to money. You know, they're all prescribed in ways that we even stop seeing. We just take for granted that this is the normal way of being. And so much is predetermined by the way we shape our cities that I think it's the most potent tool we have to confront a lot of our long challenges, not our short challenges. Now, a lot of projections show that we're going to get to 70% of the global population in cities. Cities are where 80% of the economic activity is. It's where 70% of the energy gets used. We're going to add another 3 billion people to cities, largely in the emerging economies in the global south. But we're also going to remake our cities as well in the next 30, 40 years. And we've got to get it right. But this is what cities do. It's where innovation happens. It's where people go for economic opportunity. It's where women get a chance to have standing in their society. It's where education and literacy takes off. It's where economic ha growth happens for developing uh, societies. And it is proven many times over that it's the low carbon way to live. And it's the lightest footprint on the earth. Meanwhile, we look at what's around us and it's becoming more and more painful. Homelessness, racism, the early impacts of climate change, whether it's fire or flooding. These are things that are upon us now. We have to think systemically about them. Cities are our biggest opportunity to stop being wasteful of land, of energy, of materials, of human potential.